Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation on catch missing details, image reconstruction with frequency augmented variational autoencoder. The biggest challenge of image reconstruction models using VQVAE architecture is that the quality deteriorates quickly with a higher compression rate. We noted in the paper the main reason is that the features on the middle and the higher frequency spectrum tend to be neglected. First, we propose a new model called FAVAE for more accurate details reconstruction. In order to guide its learning, we propose spectrum loss and dynamic spectrum loss for learning features of different low and high frequency mixtures. We propose a new cross-attention autoregressive transformer for text-to-image generation with an enhanced attention mechanism. The results show that FAVAE is able to improve reconstruction for various compression rates on several benchmarks, and the CAT is able to yield better generation quality for T2I synthesis. It becomes harder to reconstruct accurately the images for VQVAE-based models with higher compression rates, for instance, when comparing a compression rate of 4 versus 16, the reconstruction accuracy degrades. Although the reconstructed images look consistent with the original images, we start to see details inconsistencies, such as around the lip contour. These details inconsistencies also manifest on the frequency spectrum, which tend to be less recoverable when the compression rate increases, and these details inconsistencies correlate with the middle and higher frequency spectrum misalignment. Existing reconstruction models tend to ignore these misalignment on the frequency spectrum. Therefore, we propose frequency augmented VAE, FAVAE, which learns to complement the reconstructed images with missing features of important frequencies. The insight is that during the encoding stage, variable information is being stored and mixed into the activations of the encoder. Thus, we propose to integrate frequency complement modules through the help of dynamic spectrum loss to extract features of important frequencies from the encoder's activations. These extracted features are in turn used to complement the decoder's activations in order to reconstruct accurately the original images. Our proposed dynamic spectrum loss is inspired from the focal frequency loss, which was originally used in the images domain. When applied to the activations domain, we first turn the activations to the frequency spectrum using discrete Fourier transform. Then we compute the frequency diff then we compute the frequency distance between the encoder's activations and the decoder's activations. Our previous observations show that the middle and the higher frequencies tend to be least recoverable. Thus, FFL penalizes much harder the misalignment on the middle and higher frequency spectrum. This leads to excessive noise in the decoder's activations due to an, due to an overemphasis on the higher frequency spectrum. We still want to penalize more misalignment in the lower frequency spectrum than in the higher frequency spectrum because the former defines the image content while the latter contains the details. We propose to apply Gaussian kernels on the activations, which is our spectrum loss. The results show that the spectrum loss is able to improve reconstruction on the lower spectrum. However, we start to notice the checkerboard artifacts. We think the main reason is that the sigmas are said to be deterministic in the Gaussian kernels across different levels of the reconstruction, and this could be an over-rigid constraint to the learning because different levels of the reconstruction may need a different amount of low or high frequencies. In order to address the shortcomings of the spectrum loss, we propose to optimize the variance of the sigma i instead as deterministic. This would allow the model to learn dynamically adjust to different amount of frequencies needed. Sigma i are model parameters and optimized together during the training. The results show a good amount of balance between low and high frequencies with no checkerboard artifacts. Next, we pro also propose a cross-attention autoregressive transformer CAT for text-to-image generation task. CAT utilizes all token embeddings of the test description, using a pre-trained clip text encoder for more fine-grained guidance. It also embeds a cross-attention mechanism to guide the generation at each step. 
which is also utilized in other concurrent works, such as ImageN. We test our model FAVME for image reconstruction on various benchmark datasets across different codebook sizes and compression rates. FAVAE shows better reconstruction because it's able to restore more accurately the details, which are in the middle and higher frequency spectrum. More ablation studies and experiments can be found in the paper. For the text-to-image generation task, CAT is able to generate more realistic images for text inputs of various lengths. More visualizations are in the paper. Thank you for listening. Our work can be found in the links below.